We're on a, a little refurbishing job in a cottage and adding a couple of bathrooms, uh, both of which you can see now. Um, I'm in one of them and this cottage is very, very warm indeed. The result of that warmth, especially in the bathroom where there's so much humidity, is that condensation forms on pretty much every cold surface. The coldest surface in the bathroom, probably the house, is the toilet system because it's full of very cold water. So the water is very cold, the bathroom is very hot and humid. When the warm air hits the cold system, it condenses. Uh, we often get emails from people saying my toilet system's leaking but I can't see anywhere that it's getting out. Well, it's actually condensation. It drips on the floor, especially in the bathroom that we have upstairs directly above this one. It can rot the floor before you even know it. Uh, that also applies to the pipes. So I'm going to show you a very, very simple way of stopping that happening um, or at least reducing it very dramatically depending on how much time you want to spend and that is by the use of an ordinary yoga mat. Um, now these can be quite expensive if you go to proprietary yoga schools to buy them. We pick this one up for a fiver on offer at Tesco's. Um, so they can be bought at car boot sales as well. So all you really want is the rubber or whatever base this is for, for a yoga mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line the toilet system with this yoga mat. Now that is gonna stop the cold water directly hitting the surface of the system. So the system gets a chance to warm up by the heat in the bathroom. It's not gonna be so cold, water's not gonna condense so easily, and we're gonna stop that drip, drip, drip from the system. So we're gonna use the yoga mat, we're gonna cut the shapes required with the scissors, and the first thing that we're gonna do is, down here, we have an isolation valve, and I'm gonna turn the water off first of all. So that's the first thing. If you've got an isolation valve, that's fantastic. If you haven't, you're gonna to have to turn the water off at the mains. Then, if the cameraman wants to come a little bit closer, we're gonna take the lid off the system, just like that, and we're gonna flush. The water out. So cut the, the bottom first, um, use a cardboard template if you need to, we've done it before so we've got a rough idea of the size or whatever. Give yourself plenty of room because um, a, a bigger hole can be made smaller by putting little pieces of this in afterwards so don't, don't underdo it if you like. And then to stick it down to the base of the system we're going to use uh, Everbuilds Forever White. Um, it's an excellent bathroom mastic. Um, we're using this on the bathroom, there's no point going to buy another, uh, another tube of another kind of uh, sealant just to do that. So uh, Forever White is the bathroom sealant that we use from, from choice and I'm going to use that now. Just apply, you don't need a lot, we'll just put it onto the, onto the, let me turn around so you can see what I'm doing, put it onto the yoga mat a little bit here and there, okay, and then we're going to get that into 
the bottom of the system. There we have one lined toilet system. It's really important that that mastic is given eight to 10 hours now to go hard before you refill the system. That's because it's important that the neoprene or the, the yoga mat, whatever it is you're using, is completely stuck to the inside of the system because some water will force its way up between the system and the mat and that's a good thing. That will act then as a wetsuit with the water trapped between the neoprene and your skin. That water will warm up and keep the system at a temperature to avoid condensation or at least absolutely minimise condensation. So make sure that mastic's gone um, completely hard. Leave that for six to eight hours, maybe a little bit longer if you can. And that's how to avoid condensation on the system itself. To avoid condensation on the pipes, um, because they are quite obviously the cold water going to the system um, is as cold as the water in the system itself quite obviously. If you've got room you can put some ordinary pipe lagging on and perhaps paint that to match the colour of your bathroom, that's ordinary 15mm pipe lagging. Or you can use these little things which you'll see me cutting now. This is called a pipe snap. Um, it's piece of plastic, it's moulded into a curve and if I can find a piece of copper somewhere, just one second, as I say into a curve and that simply clips over the copper pipe. Let go and it covers the pipe. The advantage, you'll see them used on centrally, central heating pipes quite a lot. Uh, two advantages. One, it makes the pipe, it matches the pipe with the skirting boards or whatever that you're going to put it around. Um, that's one thing. And the second thing is that it warms the copper ever so slightly and you're less likely to get condensation on a pipe covered in pipe snap than you are on a straightforward copper pipe. So just that bit of a, bit of a warmer feel to it. So there are ways of reducing the condensation on your pipes going to the system. Um, that's the way to reduce the condensation on the system itself. And I hope that's helped you in your bathroom at, the, at, uh, at home. Um, and it comes with our blessing from DIY Doctor. <laughs>